Hello guys, uh, today I am going to be working on the rear delt. So, few of us only focuses on the major muscles, chest, back, legs, abs, shoulders. We don't really do so much of forearms and calves and rear delts. So I'm gonna show you different ways that you can do rear delts. You don't have to go heavy. You can't really do much heavy. So it's gonna be precisely focusing on the rear delts right here. Uh, with lighter weight, lighter reputation. If you are able to add up the weight, good for you, go ahead. So let's go ahead and check it out. I got a few ideas over here, thank you. That's it guys, this needs just going all the way down and all the way up, bringing the handle over your head. Do not swing back and forth, just maybe 10, 15 reps. If you're doing more, Go ahead and add a little weight on it. That's it. Keep your body straight. Key. That's it. This one, pretty simple. All you got to do it. sit intact, cross your foot underneath and lock it up. Go all the way down and all the way up, always feel the stretch. And when you're pulling it, not use elbow and arm so much, it's basically you're pulling it down with your back. It will work the upper and on the side of your real delt. That's it, as many reps as you can or add more weight. This one, just holding the knob of that uh, rope cable and using your side to move the weight. You're not doing triceps, so you're not bending your elbow. Just, yep, use your back. And after a few reps, make sure you do the exact amount of reps on the other hand. Same thing. Nice and slow. Don't bounce back. Just keep doing back and forth. That's it. Make sure you do the same number of reps. Kneel down. If you need a padding for your knees, feel free to use it. No harm at all. Bring the rope as close to your forehead so you get full stretch up at the top and up at the, uh, and then at the bottom. Just do as many as you can or increase the weight. This one, you may see some people doing. All you're doing is holding the rope crisscross do not arch your back make it look like a banana keep it straight go all the way up all the way down all the way up all the way down that's it you don't really do a lot of weights on this just make sure you you know form is perfect this one shoulder press you're basically standing make sure your standing is very very stable and then just put the push the weight up all the way and all the way down. You can increase the weight depending on how good you are with the weights. You know, just make sure 10, 12 reps. Uh, if you go too heavy and your form is not right, you may get hurt. This one, try to make 45 degree angle and your um, hands are facing the other side and go all the way up. Try and stay there for a second. Go all the way up, stay there for a second. That's it, as many reps as you can. Keep your body straight, as straight as possible. Now we're going to do reverse fly. Um, not too much weight. Make sure you squeeze at the top. Squeeze at the top. 10, 15, 20 reps, whatever you can handle body is 45 degree angle or so you can go as low as possible this one is pretty simple fly machine put your chest on the pad so you're not going back and forth and that's it go all the way in the front and all the way back squeeze when you are at the back i like to stand you can sit down also whatever works for you yep
keep doing this, do not hurt your glutes. Just keep going up, all the way up, all the way down. All the way up, all the way down. That's it, body 45 degree angle. This is pretty simple. Just stay on the bench, straight, hug the bench, go all the way up, all the way down, but do not swing. Do not use momentum for going up. Let the weight die at the bottom and then go up as high as you can. All the way up.